Hi, my name is Patrick Distortens, and today I'm going to present you my project that is a content project, meaning that I'm building new content for a specific topic. My project was on around TypeScript, which is a programming language. And what is different compared to all other TypeScript uh, classes or even like normal classes online is that instead of being linear, going from one module to another one to another one until the end, what I'm trying to achieve here is having a non-sequential uh, teaching, meaning that every little uh, timbit of information goes into at least uh, one to uh, three different paths meaning that a, a student can choose to continue to deep, go deeper in uh, one topic or get more details before moving on to another uh, piece of information. Uh, so what I'm trying to solve here is having the student uh, being in a state that does not really understand before moving on uh, on another topic of the same class. So the student can get more uh, examples, for example, but also can go to somewhere where he's more interested first. So we can see here uh, inside the YouTube studio uh, a couple of videos that I've been uh, producing. Each of them are uh, right now sequentially, if you can, as you can see, but at the end of each video, they are um, adding multiple ways to go to another one. So it's not really sequential. So the way it's doing it is inside the YouTube. You can see at the end, there's a little panel that are coming where the user can choose between one or two. And when there's more uh, path, uh, the links are inside the description of YouTube. So what we have right now is on the existing market, uh, I've been doing some research and I saw 19 course uh, around TypeScript and all of them are sequential, meaning like the one lesson per topic, uh, and when you don't understand the topic, then you need to go to another course or like browse online. Also, uh, 17 courses of these 19 uh, were under three hours, uh, which is interesting because uh, at the moment I've built about 19 uh, videos and I, I foresee to have a, above 200 of them, which uh, means that to get a, 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 a real good understanding of a topic like TypeScript, which is a sim simple program language, it will take way more than three hours. Uh, also, one thing that is very different from my approach compared to most uh, approach that we can see with uh, program language is that more than 19 persons of them are a course that is uh, a screen uh, scrub of all what the teacher is doing inside the code editor, uh, while the course that I've been building so far has zero uh, code editor uh, screen. Uh, and you can see also that in, at Georgia Tech, uh, if you go uh, in many classes, uh, if it's not always inside the editor, it's mostly like only the ends of a teacher for hours and hours. You can only see the ends of somebody like fast forwarding, like writing stuff. And most of the time, it's only one example per topic. Uh, this is my experience with online uh, learning uh, with the Georgia Tech. So the content is built with me around the, uh, the camera. So as you can see right now, it's exactly what I am uh, using with TypeScript. So I am in the middle. Uh, there's no slides. I'm talking all the way through, uh, which is pretty good because most researchers uh, do not encourage any uh, slides above 30 seconds. So I have no slides. So everything is moving. There's animation on the left and on the right of me uh, with the codes coming up, with some screenshots, with uh, examples. And they're all animated also to keep it pretty uh, entertaining and not like very like in the same pace all the time. Um, also, uh, I create many paths with many uh, examples, like I said, and these examples are also right next to me, which allow uh, to keep uh, eye to eye contacts with the student, which is really uh, interesting because most studies says that the relationship between the teacher and the students and students among them as well is very important uh, for the retention of user. So having like a face-to-face, -face, a human-to-human -human connection, I think is uh, very valuable. Like I said, no slides uh, and no screen uh, on-screen uh, coding. So when there's going to be code, I'm going to uh, pass the code right next to my face. And uh, this allows to still uh, keep uh, not only the, the code there, but I can annotate the code directly to put more uh, emphasis on this particular uh, aspect of the code. So... Um, Otherwise, um, 
there's there's many things that I also was added first to this research, uh, like having like a story, like a TV show story within all the educational purpose to make it more entertaining. That was removed from the the project as uh, it was developed because it was taking too much of, of a burden and making it a little bit more confusing about the the main aspect, which was learning uh, TypeScript. But this is uh, gone, but was there initially as uh, an idea as well. The production of all this is mostly uh, me talking to uh, a teleprompter and everything is recorded with OBS, which is a, a free software to re uh, recording. And I'm recording everything then uh, inside DaVinci Resolve, which is a editing tool where I'm going to paste all the animated stuff around my face. Um, and I'm trying to uh, keep all the videos under three minutes, which uh, allow the users to have like all the information needed and if needed more to keep forward and uh, otherwise just have people to move uh, out of the topic if they already un understand. I also try to limit the number of fork, um, but still there's some limitation with the YouTube. First of all, uh, it's pretty hard to have an overall picture of the course because there's no kind of timeline, um, like, like the example, it, what I can show you with my OneNote uh, graph is all those nodes are coming for every directions. Uh, on YouTube, when you go and, and consume the content, you cannot have this sense of information. So uh, this limitation uh, could be resolved by having a website around the YouTubes, but that was not done with this project. And also, uh, it's kind of hard to make a sense of community and studying partner and stuff like that, which is pretty important if you read many uh, study. So this is kind of lacking right now uh, on my uh, content source. Um, and to conclude, uh, this project is, is really uh, about face-to-face -face making a relationship, um, having a, an experience that is non-linear. Um, and it ended up that I learned that quality takes time, like building these videos with all the animation, with the code, highlighting stuff, adding stuff, moving around. Uh, it takes a long time which uh, I think address the issue that we have with uh, university course or mock and uh, those uh, big class online, because it's very hard to have some kind of return on of invest investment uh, when you're making like so much hours, like trying to edit the videos and redo some takes and make sure that it's kind of entertaining. And that then after that, for a single topic, making additional video on the same topic with different angle, with many example. So it takes a lot of time. And um, my hypothesis is that it takes so much time to have this kind of quality um, that most, if not all uh, platform are just trying to deliver as fast as possible to, uh, to be uh, kind of as cheap as possible to have the course uh, available for user to, um, to, to consume. And I think the proof of that is that many courses uh, that has some grading, they, they have a huge uh, curve that they, they, they can rise up, up like 30 person. And I think it, it kind of shows that students sometimes don't understand completely and keep having like an A grade at the end just because they went through all those modules instead of focusing that, oh, the user understand pretty well before moving on. So uh, this is kind of concerning me and I hope this uh, project here is kind of trying to uh, shift uh, the perspective into like, okay, we want a student to understand that is the main goal. And actually my prediction uh, after uh, making this project is that simply that someday some in institution will set the priority for student to understand the topic instead of just trying to uh, pitch like all that information and just move on. And that day it will do the same thing as uh, the industry of the DVD, DVD rental business at some point streaming like just crush that industry and I, I'm pretty sure that after this project that at some point some institution will put so much uh, emphasis uh, to the student to understand instead of just keeping uh, module after module that it will change the, um, the, the whole landscape of education. So uh, this is it for this project. You can get more detail on the, on the paper that I just wrote. Have a good day.